Corruption, without a doubt, one of the most uh, important issues for, for everybody to grapple with. It's not just us as the MCC, it's the RCC and everybody involved, and I think the players can take a, a big role in it. We, we ought to be talking to, to the captains. And uh, yes, massive issue uh, and something that's uh, it's got to be on the agenda, if not at the top of the agenda all the time. I think what the most important thing for us is to help ICC in their endeavours to um, f fight corruption in the game because we want the game to be clean, we want it to be um, a legitimate entertainment product for fans to come and watch without thinking that it's at all tainted. Um, and for MCC it's a huge role and we, we want to make sure that we keep our finger on the pulse, um, talk to the right people so that we can help. I think they're doing some excellent work, maybe get, get the message out there that the ICC anti-corruption and security has done some good work. Um, a lot of the times I guess they can't reveal the work they've done or the sources that they've tapped into. Um, but I think we know they're doing a pretty good job. It's more, I guess, making the players aware that there are structures in place. If you do something that's not quite right, you are going to get caught out eventually. So it's um, sometimes prevention is better than the cure. One thing I learnt, I've learnt over the last few weeks and from this meeting was that there are so many different angles you have to take on corruption. And there's education. Um, there are many things that the ICC with its ACSU have done really well that, and probably they need to keep going and do even more things. You just can't have it. It's just not right and uh, you know with the proliferation of uh, T20 leagues all over the world I think you know, the opportunity is there. It's, a, it's an easier format I believe in which uh, to taint uh, and I think, you know, we've got to be so vigilant now and uh, probably a lot more money's got to be put into making sure none of these leagues uh, get out of hand. For example, I didn't know until recently that um, the chances of a, of, a, of a maiden over being bowled in T20 cricket over the last 10 years is less than 1%. So that's an interesting statistic if someone plays out a maiden in T20 cricket. I'm not saying it's inevitably suspect but it, it would at least raise a little question and if a lot of other factors then come in then the investigation has to start in earnest I think on whatever's going on in that bit of cricket. There is an acceptance both within and without the committee that if it isn't tackled, if, it, if it, some attention isn't given to it, it, it could really affect the very core of the game and, and that is something that I'm glad to know that um, we're committed to, to making an effort to make sure that doesn't happen. It exists, it's a challenge, and, and I think we are one aspect or, or one, um, one entity that is, that is making an effort to make sure that it, it, it doesn't ruin the game.